All right, something so extremely different that you've not even seen this or think about this or like, oh, that's weird. Hmm. And with some fascinating results, like really fascinating results. So this is your typical 540 cubic inch big block Chevrolet with, well, that's weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 16 spark plugs. Isn't that weird? Now, what this is for, for experimental aircraft. Okay, experimental. Uh, keyword. But anyways, this is a really interesting deal. They used to make a dual spark plug cylinder head for a big block Chevrolet. Prodex used to make it. They no longer make it. So if you want to go back, you can see this video right here where we're talking about how uh, the Stuart 51 group is having us make dual spark plug cylinder heads. So we literally come in here and machine this all out and move both spark plugs. So they are on both sides of the existing, or, or the previous spark plug right here. We machine, weld this in. You wanna see how we do this, you gotta go watch the other video. But this is a fascinating deal. So uh, because they want to run so they run when they're taking off they run both ignition systems and bill just keeps both ignition systems on all the time so there's a fail safe there's always a second spark plug second uh ignition system running at the same time or they can turn it off one off and turn it on if they have a problem blah 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 blah, blah. right right okay <laughs> so uh but most times just think about it as they're turning they run both ignition systems in general all the time and if one fails it still is running there's another ignition system there because you don't necessarily it's probably not a good thing to have the, the airplane fall out of the sky you usually not that good so um <laughs> but let's go out here and we'll make a pull on this now the other thing is is the uh engine rpm can they cannot run any more than 4700 rpm because that makes the tip of the prop go, what's the proper terminology? Go sonic? Supersonic. Super sonic. So the tip, the tip of the blade of the prop would go supersonic. No, no bueno, okay? So engine RPM can only be uh, 4,700 RPM max. So they have a sweet spot where they run this thing basically from 3,000 to 4,700 RPM and just pretty much just stays in that area the whole time, all right? Um, so this is 540 cubic inch hydraulic roller, our dual port, I'm sorry, dual spark plug oval port cylinder heads, mechanical injection, av gas. And so this mechanical injection is, is interesting because this is your hand lean out valve. So you can, they're, they're up there in the air and they can, they can sit here and just pull this manual lever to make it leaner or richer while they're flying. It's like looking at EGTs or by sound and move it richer, leaner. Yep, sounds like a million bucks. Oh, EGT is perfect. Bang. Uh, they do run, what do you say? You're full rich on takeoff? Full rich on takeoff. I was thinking the elevation should change and, that quite a bit, wouldn't it? Yeah, so then this has uh, elevation stuff too. So I haven't figured out the whole thing, but this is some form of, uh, I guess you could almost think of this as like a mass airflow sensor. It is somewhat changing, I believe somewhat changing fuel flow, because this is your whole barrel valve assembly basically. So this is somewhat changing fuel flow based on how much air goes across it. Has barometers in the, uh, in the ignition system, so it'll add timing and subtract timing based on elevation barometer, how good the air is. Um, but this is, oh shoot, this is not, this is like, this is getting on 80 year old technology, not 50 year old, is it? Yeah, this has got to be 80 year old. This is 80 year old technology and it still works like a champ. <laughs> I mean, it's just, because this is just, uh, no fail, basically. So let's go out and run this and I'm gonna show you something really interesting in between the two spark plugs. So we run this 
one spark plug, test it, run the other spark plug, test it, run both spark plugs, test it. What do you think it does? It's pretty fascinating. So first thing you're gonna notice is we're gonna start this up on one ignition system. And then while it's sitting here idling, turn on the other ignition system. And it does pretty much exactly what you think it would do. Oh, and this is counter rotation. So we did have to uh, reset some things up in my dyno to make it actually work in counter rotation, including using their flywheel and starter, which cranks it backwards. So you'll see this engine is rolling over backwards. So that means it's got a reverse rotation water pump and all the ignition is on the flywheel side, which is actually the prop side. So the engine is in the backwards or forwards as Bill likes to say, but it's backwards and uh, cause flywheel facing forward cause the, that goes into a step down trans transmission three to one, three to one step down. Yeah. 2.3 to one, 2.3 to one step down. Uh, because actually, no, yeah, it's, it's actually the prop. It's for, yeah. the prop doesn't spend forty seven hundred RPM. Seven percent of the engine. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, so the prop is spent, spinning really slow actually. So, anyways, there's actually they put their ignition system and magnets in the flywheel. Two sets of magnets in the flywheel. Or one set. No, one set of magnets, two two sensors. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So we'll start this up on one ignition and then turn on the second ignition while it's sitting right there. So you can hear it actually just picks up RPM. Shut it off, turn it on, shut it off, turn it on. fuel off and it is deadly consistent of where it's of horsepower and torque and i'll show you that here real quick now let me bring up let me close this down and then bring up the uh, graphs one at a time here all right so here's the interesting thing so we've been making a bunch of pulls i'm not going to bore you with just showing you a bunch of pulls back to back okay but that's how long it takes to sweep through there because we really try slowing it down all right and this thing it repeats like crazy so we'll show you that but here this is on ignition b okay ignition b which that spark plug is that the forward spark plug or the back spark plug forward forward spark plug oh that's even that's even more interesting i have to, i gotta process that out but the so the uh the forward spark plug so forward of where the old spark plug was uh, is a, is looking down on the chamber like this, okay? Forward, this thing makes, and this is no change in tune-up, obviously, because the mechanical is not not changeable, really. Uh, so there's nothing going on there. We're leaving it exact same position. We're checking, verifying timing. The ignition's the same. Everything's the same. Uh, 546 foot-pounds of torque and makes 431 horsepower all right there in the same rpm curve same everything now let's bring in the a ignition which is the back spark plug which is behind the old original spark plug which is uh well that's farther away from the exhaust valve so uh really gotta think about that for a minute but the we turn on the a ignition test Bing, and this thing makes a hundred foot pounds more torque, five or six hundred and thirty eight foot pounds of torque, and five hundred and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen horsepower. Now, and you think, okay, sweet, turn on both spark plugs. So, here's the pull that we just made 
with both spark plugs on. And it overlays directly on top of the A ignition plug, which is the back plug. So in wide open throttle instances or any kind of power instances, it doesn't care that there's two spark plugs in it. It does care when it's idling because you can hear it clean up the idle, which totally makes sense. It's got two sparks in it that cleans up the idle. That makes 100% sense. Uh, but it is just identical <laughs> uh, with two spark plugs to one. But this one spark plug, forward spark plug, is a solid... Uh, 70 horsepower and almost 100 foot pounds of torque less from a different position same spark plug right same spark plug same ignition same ignition timing and uh, of course we could be look adding timing or trying to figure out exactly where this where the b spark plug wants to be at for timing very possible and quite probable that it wants to be in a different spot but that is a significantly different deal if we just start overlaying all the graphs here, you can start seeing, because we did all the initial testing on this uh, A ignition or B ignition. And so we thought, oh, it's, you know, it's just a little down on power, but okay, no problem. Uh, let's hook up the B, uh, the A ignition and see what it does. And like, bang, all of a sudden it picks up 100 horsepower. <laughs> and it repeats. It comes up, keeps on coming back to exactly the same thing. So here's every A ignition pass every b ignition or b ignition pass so fascinating deal uh anyways leave your comments because i think that's a really interesting deal of why that is uh remember so uh the back spark plug is better so uh there's something going on in the combustion chamber obviously so we have to think about that for a while but um that's really fascinating so anyways, uh, that's it for now. Uh, Bill, is your website up and everything? You get some information uh, on updating. Uh, S-T-E-W-A-R-T, Stewart51.com. Yeah. And I've got a lot of archived material. The newer site with a newer provider, I have not gotten current. I'm behind. All right. We're going to freshen it up. <laughs> Go freshen it up. So uh, this is a uh, first experimentation on uh, Proving out of the package with the new cylinder heads of us doing the, the twin spark plug in there. And uh, that's pretty fascinating stuff. That's pretty cool. How so, about uh, Bill brings the airplane back up here and gives you a ride? Oh, I'm not insured for a second guy. Okay. I don't know that I want you in there yet. Okay. I, we'll see. We'll yeah. see. <laughs> we want to do some more proving here yeah, before we'll we. Yeah. More proving yet. Yeah. All right. Cool. So I'm Steve Morris. You are Bill Hudgens. You are Jim Zakharovsky. You are Gorilla Gransky. Gorilla Gransky. And Cliff, you, you can't beat the name. The eldest. And Cliff, how are you doing? All right. Have a great day.